was good, y'all. Rich Sosa back in a building with another banger. Now, first things first, before we get started, I just want to say thank God for another day and another opportunity. Now, as y'all can see from the looks of the title and the screen, today I'm going to be bringing y'all a catfish build, going to be called the Rip Protector, but we're going to be able to speed boost out of this build, also get sharpshooting, shot critting, and playmaking takeover, and we do have the potential to get a 100 plus ball handle, three point shot, block and defensive rebound with pro dribble moves and pro contact dunks so if this sounds like a build that you're going to be interested in man y'all already know what y'all need to do be sure to hit that sub button if you're new and i would appreciate it if everybody went ahead and smashed that like button and be sure to go ahead and comment down tg for thank god as well as where you're tuning in from watching today now y'all most definitely are going to want to turn on post notifications because i'm uploading every single day so we're going to get started by putting it under the power forward position. Now I know that we're going to be able to create this build out of different positions but today the power forward is going to be the absolute best. Now when it comes down to the wingspan, the height, the weight, all of these are going to play a huge factor with this build. So I'm going to go with the height of 6'9". When it comes down to the weight, I'm going to drop this to 229. Then when it comes down to the wingspan, I'm going to go with 7'5". Now to take up the most space, I would go with builds, but again, you definitely can choose based off your own liking. Now let's go ahead and get into the breakdown of these actual attributes. So when it comes down to my speed, I'm going to go with an 80, 74 acceleration, 80 strength, 82 vertical with a 90 stamina. Now this is going to be the absolute best setup that you can go with when it comes down to the physicals. If you try to go ahead and get more out of your defense, playmaking, shooting, or finishing, you're really going to take away from the actual build being a catfish. So leave it as is and now let's go ahead and first, today we're going to start off a little bit differently. Let's go ahead and get into the defensive end. So when it comes down to the defense, my interior going to be a 75, 78 for the perimeter, 68 steal, 93 block, 67 offensive rebound with an 85 defensive. Now, as you can see, we get a total of 23 badges. Now, a few of the main ones that I'm looking at, Gold Box Out Beast, also going to be able to get Menace. Then I'm also looking at Ankle Braces. Then from there, we get Chased on Artists. Another badge that I like, honestly, out of Tier 3, Anchor and Pogo Stick with Silver Rebound Chaser as well as Brick Wall. Now, this is a super solid setup when it comes down to the defensive end. If you want to change the numbers, you can do so, but I'm telling y'all, this is the most balanced that I was able to create it. Now, let's go ahead and move on to the shooting. So, for the mid-range shot, I'm going to go with the 74, 83 for my three-pointer, and a 74 when it comes down to my free throw. Now, right here, we get 19 badges. I'm happy that we get gold mini magician, also get amped. Then we get 5 Hall of Fame badges, Space Creator being 1, Volume Shooter also. Then out of Tier 2, we get Silver Agent 3, Gold Green Machine. Then for Tier 3, we're able to get Limitless Range and then Blinders, Silver Deadeye, and Gold Catch and Shoot. Now honestly for the shooting, this is going to be more than you need, especially with that 83 three-pointer. Consider adding in that sharp shooting or the shot creating takeover, and that's going to allow us to get even better shooting stats. Now from here, let's go ahead and check out the finishing. So for the close shot, I'm going to go with the 76, 80 for my driving layup, 84 for the driving dunk, and this is what is going to allow us to get the contact dunks. And then for the standing dunk, I'm going to go with an 80, and right there we get 18 badges. Now if you go with an 85 driving dunk, 86, or even an 87, you're going to get a different build name, so you have to maintain this at an 84. But when it comes down to the 18 badges, I'm looking at back down Punisher. Also get Hall of Fame Giant Slayer and Pro Touch. I'm happy that we were able to unlock Silver Slithery. Then we're also able to get Fearless Finisher, Limitless Takeoff, Aerial Wizard. Then for Tier 3, I like the fact that we get both Bronze Bully as well as Posterizer with Silver Rise Up and Fast Twitch. Now let's go ahead and move on to the playmaking. I'm telling y'all, the finishing, the shooting, and the defense looking super well-rounded. And when it comes down to the playmaking, this is going to be an even better area. Now when it comes down to my playmaking, I'm going to go with the pass accuracy of a 75, 85 ball handle with a 71 speed with ball. Now we get 18 badges out of this build for the playmaking. I'm happy that we get Hall of Fame Ankle Breaker out of Tier 1. Also get Gold Hyperdrive, then from there we get Gold Quick First Step. 
Tier 3, handles for dates on silver, killer combos, and then unpluckable. Now if you want to make any adjustments towards this build, you definitely can do so but remember, you have the potential to get a plus 4 from becoming a starter in my career, so I think honestly, the way that I set this build up with the extra badges that we're able to unlock, definitely going to be one of the better builds that we can see and also use throughout the year, and even more so when you consider this to be a catfish build. Now from here really quick let's go ahead and check out the takeovers. So we're able to get the shot creating, also going to be able to get the sharpshooting, playmaking, and then finally we do get the rim protecting. So if you want to be better on the offensive end or you want to break ankles more often, I would first go with ankle breaking shots takeover. The second one that you can switch it up with, I would honestly say paint intimidation or you can go with stuff blocks. I like the benefits that paint intimidation gives you. Now again, the first takeover is definitely optional. You can go with the playmaking, even double up on the defensive end. But I think limitless range is really going to put this build together better. Now from here, let's go ahead and check out the build name. Now I want to be sure that we made it correctly. So be sure to follow every single stat, every measurement that I brought it to y'all. Make sure that you follow along. And as y'all can see together, we have created the Catfish Rim Protector build. And remember, we're able to get contact dunks, pro dribble moves. Now when it comes down to the takeovers, these are going to allow us to play different styles of basketball. From here, let's go ahead and take a quick look at what this build is going to be looking like once we max it out. So remember, if you did go with the sharpshooting takeover, that's going to give you a plus 10 when activated. Now, if you buy your own boost, that's a plus 5. And if you do run with teammates that do have on floor general, that's going to be a plus 4. So you get plus 19 towards your 3-point shot in takeover. And right there, if you add it up, we'll be able to get a 100 plus. Now, when it comes down to the block, the same exact thing can be said when it comes down to this area. Just something that I would really throw out there to y'all. But from here, let's go ahead and get into the badges. Now, for the finishing to start out, I went with Hall of Fame Pro Touch. Then I went with Bronze Slithery. Now, for Tier 2, Silver Fearless Finisher, as well as Silver Limitless Takeoff. And then for Tier 3, I went with Core Posterizer on Bronze, and then to use my extra batch points, I went ahead and put on Bronze Bully. Now if you want to, you can even go ahead and put on Area Wizard over Bully, or put on any other badge based off your own preference. I think this is a solid setup when it comes down to the finishing, especially with the amount of badges that we do get. From here, I'm going to go ahead and move on to the shooting. So as you can see for Tier 1, Silver Amped, also get Bronze Volume Shooter, Hall of Fame Space Crater, then for tier 2, Agent 3 on Silver, Bronze Green Machine, Core, Gold Catch and Shoot, as well as Bronze Limitless Range. Now this is going to be the setup for the shooting, but remember, we do have a 100 plus 3 point shot, which is really going to allow us to shoot better than most builds. Now if you want to go about this badge setup differently, you can do so, but I'm telling y'all this is what I would really recommend. Now let's go ahead and get into the playmaking. So for any build that's able to get it, Go ahead and put on first Hall of Fame Ankle Breaker. And then from here, I'm also able to get Hyperdrive. So what I'm going to do, take off Special Delivery, put Hyperdrive on Gold. And then for Tier 2, we're also able to get Gold Quick First Step. Then we get Silver Handles for Days as well as Core Killer Combos. Now this is the setup that we're going to be running with when it comes down to the playmaking. I think honestly, if you were to add extra badges towards this build, you can even go ahead and put it towards the playmaking or the shooting. Now the defensive area is something that I would consider as well, but for tier 1 we get gold box out beast, bronze glove as well as post lockdown, then for tier 2 we get clamps and interceptor both on bronze, hall of fame chase down artist and then for tier 3 gold anchor on core as well as silver rebound chaser. Now this is pretty much what the build is going to be looking like. If you want to make adjustments towards the badges that I picked or even towards the actual attributes or physicals. You definitely can do so, but I'm telling y'all, you may get a different build name, so I really recommend that you keep it as is. But if you mess with this build, go ahead and let me know in the comments what y'all thought about it. And if it was your first time coming through, man, y'all already know what y'all need to do. Be sure to hit that sub button if you're new. And I would appreciate it if everybody went ahead and smashed that like button. Comment down TG for thank God as well as where you're tuning in from watching today. And don't forget to go ahead and turn on post notifications because I'm uploading every single day. And I don't want y'all to miss the content that I got in store. But again, 
Thank you, God, for another day and another opportunity. Thank y'all for the support. And with all that being said, I got one last thing to say. Rich out.